Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at one of these Saab cells, SAB60280, uh, 3.2 volt, 55 amp hours, which is 176 watt hours. Um, mm. This isn't much different than a lot of the other LiPo cells, it's just huge. Um, it's designed obviously for capacity and uh, current. Um, we'll look at the specs here in a little bit, but I kind of want to do a quick little fun video. Um, I have eight of these, so we could easily build um, a 4S or 8S or a 4S with 2P um, inverter system. But I think you've seen enough of those on my channel that you know exactly how we would do it. We would just put four in series, put a BMS on it, and run it to an inverter, and it's pretty much done. This is going to be a little different. Like, what if you just have one of these? What if you just want to you know, do something with small voltages instead of large voltages? And so this could last a device that runs, you know, very small voltages of very, much, very small wattage for a really long time. So that's what we're going to work on. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to add a 1S BMS because it needs to be protected. Um, even if you put it on something that won't drain it very quickly, uh, you don't want it to drain it to zero. So this 1S BMS should do the, you know, over, over uh, voltage protection, the under voltage protection, the overcurrent, and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to add that, probably just going to hot glue it there. And then we're also going to add this circuit here, which is a buck uh, up converter. And so this will take whatever voltage we feed it, hopefully, you know, down to 2 volts, because that's as low as this can get, and bump it up to 4.5 for the application I have in mind. And to make it a little more useful, we'll just solder on these ends, uh, banana connectors, uh, to the end of these wires here. And we'll again just kind of hot glue it over here and then we'll show you what we're going to power with it. So let's get to soldering. I think we got all our soldering done. On the BMS here, we have these ring terminals that will connect to the ends of the batteries and secured by these uh, nuts. And then in the center, we have their outputs that's going to the buck converter. Um, you can adjust the voltages here and the displays here, makes it really nice and convenient. And then on the output, we have these couple of banana connectors that we'll use to power our device. So now it's getting close to the last step. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue them to the battery. Uh, connect the terminals, make sure everything's working, and then we're going to power our device. All right, here we go. All right, as you can see here, we've got ourselves uh, some Christmas lights that run off batteries. This uses three AAAs, or AA's, and if you know anything about the AA's and AAA's and almost all these batteries of these different lettered sizes are 1.5 volt. So if we multiply that by three, that's 4.5, which is why we have our output set to that. So now that we have that, we're going to use some of these crimp-on connectors. So the plus will go here on this side. Ground will go on this side. And now let's hook them up. Make sure you don't get your colors crossed. There we go. 
Now, uh, this will run for a really long time. Um, other changes uh, I'd make if I continue to use this is uh, obviously an easy way to charge this. But this is definitely going to last the season and then I'm probably going to tear it apart and reuse the batteries in another project. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy Holidays and uh, see you next time.